If you clicked on this video, there's a few assumptions that I can make about you. One, you know how to crochet. Two, you like to save a little bit of money on your Christmas gifts. And three, you care a whole lot about your friends and family. And if all three of those things are true, you are in for a real treat because I'm gonna be sharing all sorts of gifts that you can crochet for your friends and family this holiday season. No matter how much time or yarn you have on your hands, you're gonna find some super fun ideas here. I've spent lots of time scouring the internet to find the very best crochet gifts you can make for your friends and family this year. And if I'm being honest, I think I really delivered on this one. I have this list organized by quickest projects to the ones that are gonna take you the longest and as always I'm gonna have all the patterns linked in the description because you know I would not leave you hanging like that oh and you're gonna want to stick around to the very end because I'm gonna be sharing some fun gag gifts if you're going to a white elephant or something like that this year I've got quite a few funny ones and maybe a couple shocking ones so go ahead and grab your cozy drink a snack a blanket whatever you need I've got Bush here with me today and he has his cozy blanket so he's got the right idea and with that I think we're ready to go ahead and get started so let's get into the list list. I figured we should just start super small with things you could make for a lot of people or throw in stockings and all that sort of thing because those are honestly the most fun projects to make. So number one, we have chapstick holders and I think this is super cute. I think chapstick holders are just a really fun way to kind of jazz up giving chapstick as a gift and you can throw these in stockings, people can reuse them and they're obviously super cute. And if you don't want to give chapstick, you could also roll up like a $20 bill in these or something and I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody would be mad about receiving money. You could go for the more basic one, you could go for the candy cane one. Either way, people are gonna love these. You really can't go wrong, you know? Next up, we have AirPod cases because who doesn't want a cute little case for their AirPods? I mean, you can have so much fun with these too. I have quite a few different patterns. Like you can make a mushroom one, you can make a little animal. I've even seen a baby Groot AirPod case, which are you kidding? Oh my goodness. It has little legs, it's so cute. And even if they don't have AirPods, there's all sorts of earphones that you can find on Amazon that are a lot cheaper that are the same size. And that would even be a really cute gift if you wanted to get someone some earphones and make a little case for them. I'm sure they'd love that. The pattern options for AirPods are really endless. You could even make a little granny square case. There's so many different ones. So I'll obviously have them all linked. For number three, we have this super cute pattern from Crochet by Jenna. She makes all these cute little plushies. This is the strawberry mushroom pop. And you can make this look like a normal mushroom. You can make it look like the strawberry. But what's so cool about this is the pop feature on it. It almost doubles as a little fidget toy too. So if you have a friend with anxiety or ADHD, I'm sure they'll really appreciate this. And also it's just a super cute thing to kind of have on your desk or play with when you're feeling stressed. I just think it's adorable. I need to make one of these soon, honestly. Those first three were things you could probably make in about an hour or less. But now we're gonna move on to things that might take you slightly longer so for number four we have the Kindle cover and there's a ton of different patterns for these as you can see here and if you know someone has a Kindle this is such an awesome gift idea because everyone needs a case for their Kindle to keep it safe and there's so many cute options you can make just a classic and minimal one you can make a really colorful one and if you're wanting to even get a little bit fancier with your gift giving you could make the case and give someone a Kindle and I'm pretty sure you would make their entire Christmas if they like to read like I do. <laughs> Number five is kind of the same idea, but we have book covers for those of us who don't have Kindles but love physical copies of books. You can make so many cute book covers that you can take on and off of your different reads, and I just love this idea. I think it's a really cute way to gift a book as well. I absolutely love this gift idea because if you know someone likes to read, you can find a book that you think they would really enjoy and make a cute little cover for it. It's just so thoughtful and sweet. It's such a good gift idea if you're looking for something really relatively cost effective and really thoughtful. So I love number six because I think this is super versatile and they're just these little pouches and you can do so much with this, this time of year especially. You can throw little gift cards in here if you want to give someone jewelry, this is a great way to do it. You can put money in here. You can put all sorts of things. You could put candy. You could do really anything. And these bags are so cute. And personally, I love things that can be reused and have multiple uses. And these bags do just that. If you give someone a gift with these, they are sure to reuse it for a long, long time because they're just so cute. I love this one that has flowers. Oh my goodness, like so cute. This is just one of those gifts that's so great. If you have a lot of people, 
you want to gift to but you don't have that budget you can just give them a small little thing to let them know that you're thinking of them <laughs> number seven is another awesome one and there are so many coaster patterns a few of my favorites are the zigzag coaster pattern from dogwood crochet i love this strawberry one i love this moon one there are so many cute ones and i just personally love crocheting my own coasters because they're so easy and you use them every day they're super useful i'm sure anybody would love these especially if you have a friend that just moved into a new home or something this is such a great and thoughtful gift and kind of playing off of that same idea you could also crochet them some car coasters which are just tiny little coasters that go in your cup holders in your car and they're really great for helping to keep things clean and not getting all gross in there there are so many cute patterns for that too oh my goodness you could have so much fun with this and you could really knock out a lot of gifts for a lot of people making these for number eight we have bandanas which are another awesome gift and these are also so quick and easy pretty much anybody in your life that has long hair even if they have short hair they're gonna love this especially if your hair is ready for a wash but you're busy you can just throw one of these on and everything's fine nobody's gonna know for number nine we have these mirror car hangings and i'm pretty sure people of all ages would love to have one of these they vary in sizes and i just love these plant ones i love these mushroom ones whenever somebody gets their driver's license i love gifting them little car accessories because i remember when i got my license that was like the most fun thing ever so if you got them a car hanging with matching car coasters they would just love you they would love you but the pattern options for these car hangings are really endless you can find really cute little ducks you can find all sorts of plants anything they really have it all i think they would also work up pretty quickly too so you really cannot go wrong with these if your friend or family member has a car i'm pretty sure they'd love this it's a pretty safe bet and it's also adorable so highly recommend next up is a pattern by me that i always forget to talk about and this is the flower belt bag and i think this is such a cute gift for someone who likes to go to concerts or things like that and they just need a little bag it's so quick and easy to make and it's a free pattern so you can find it on my blog but i'm pretty sure i made these for five different people last year for christmas so i definitely recommend it they're pretty quick and fun to make so now we're getting into the pillow territory because I think there's something so cute about gifting someone a cute cushion or plush to have on their couch or their bed. So the first of those is this heart cushion. It just reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable and you could have so much fun with these colors. It's just so cute. Next we have this mushroom pillow. I have a couple of these pillows. You might be able to tell I really love this pattern. Mushrooms are all the rage right now and this is just such a cute thing to keep on your couch, keep on your bed. It's such a fun little pattern to make and I know anyone would love this gift. They're just adorable. If you have a friend or family member that's just all about the cottagecore aesthetic, this is such a good pillow to make for them because chances are if they like cottagecore, they also really love mushrooms. I need to take a sip of my tea now. I'm drinking passion tea. Also, isn't my mug adorable? I love the little ladybugs. So this next pillow is a super adorable pattern from Hey Hey Crochet. It's a strawberry and I just love this. I think it's so cute. This one also gives me some major cottage core vibes. I just think it's so adorable. It's really hard to say which pillow would be my favorite out of the bunch, but this might be it. This donut pillow is so cute. And you could really play around with the different types of glaze that you have on each donut. You can make a chocolate one. You can make chocolate sprinkles, strawberry sprinkles, no sprinkles. You get the picture, but super fun. I had to mention this bag from Two of Wands because I think this is such a great bag to take with you to the beach and all sorts of different things. It comes with a matching bottle sleeve and this would be a relatively quick make but I just love the mesh look to it and I'm sure anyone would love to receive this. Tote bags are an awesome gift so you might have to try this one. It looks like Evie has come to join us for this video so that's how you know it's a special one. If you enjoy the Bush and Evie cam definitely give this video a like. Let's move on to the blankets on this list because who does not want to be gifted a cozy blanket that's also handmade it's just the perfect Christmas gift first off we have a blanket tutorial from my channel which is a super simple granny square blanket with this really cute border for a blanket it's pretty quick but I definitely recommend this one it's the one you've seen Bush snuggling up with too so if you like Bush's blanket definitely give it a try we also have this beautiful cloud blanket this looks so cozy and soft I've been wanting to make one of these because I just think it is absolutely gorgeous 
gorgeous and I know if you gifted this to someone they would just love you we also have this iconic daisy blanket I've been seeing this everywhere and this is just so beautiful and I feel like it'd be so fun to play around with the colors in this blanket it's definitely worth a try this would be an amazing Christmas gift definitely would probably be the most time consuming on this list but for a very good reason I really did save the best for last in this video because these are all super funny little gag gifts that you can bring to a white elephant or give to your friend who loves a weird thing if I'm being honest I love just like weird cute objects so first up is for the reader in your life we have this rat bookmark it is just a squished rat and some people might think this is weird personally I think it's amazing who doesn't want just a squished rat that's also adorable sticking out of their book I feel like that would be such a fun one to give with a book at a white elephant party or something so cute next up might be the crochet pattern I've used more than any others and that is this emotional support shrimp I've talked about this in a few other videos but I love giving people these shrimps I'm pretty sure everybody in my life has received a shrimp from me and you can even make sweaters for them I think it would also be adorable if you put a little tag with it that says emotional support shrimp or something because that just makes it way funnier and more adorable there is just something about an emotionless shrimp that comforts my soul and my anxieties and I'm sure it will do the same for people in your life too if you have a friend that survived the grimace shake from McDonald's this year this might be the perfect gift for them this is an amigurumi grimace and I think it's absolutely hilarious if you don't know there's a trend going around this year of people pretending to fall over and get sick essentially from drinking the Grimace shake at McDonald's. Poor Grimace received quite a lot of flack this year from his controversial shake, so you could always just crochet him for your friend. He's turned into a bit of a meme, but I think he's pretty funny. This one goes out to all my Trolls fans. This is Mr. Dinkles, and he's kind of iconic. He's a little worm, and he's adorable, and he has this weird look on his face. And this would just be a really funny thing to give at a white elephant party. And I can't just picture someone opening this and being like, He's pretty cute. He is a little bit random, but he's really cute. And I just like the look on his face and his little glittery eyes. Another one that I think is so cute and funny is this little garlic bread from Tiny Friends Crochet. They make so many awesome little patterns. So you definitely have to check out her Etsy. It's amazing. You might be able to see this little corn back here. That's another one of her patterns, but these would be really funny little gag gifts to bring to your next white elephant party. Well, that wraps up my list of crochet gift ideas that you can make this holiday season. I want to hear from you. What was your favorite pattern that I mentioned on this list? I think my favorite probably has to be the emotional support shrimp because I just love him. So let me know your favorite in the comments. And if you made it this far into the video, comment the present emoji so I can personally thank you for sticking around if you enjoyed this video definitely consider subscribing to my channel so you can see more content from me in the future thanks for spending some time with me today and I hope you have lots of fun making all your crochet gifts this year so until next time happy crocheting bye